Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade chapter nine, lesson five. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, and it's just word problems, guys, so don't let them trip you up, okay? We're gonna go ahead and go through them together, okay? So it says we're gonna go down to number two, okay? It says together, Xavier, Yolanda, and Zachary have four dollars and forty-four cents. If each person has the same amount, how much money does each person have? Okay, well, four dollars and 44 cents, and there's three people, okay? Xavier, Yolanda, and Zachary, okay? All right, so let's see, okay? Three, well, first, let's put our decimal up. Three goes into four one time. One times three is three. Subtract, get one. One is smaller than three, so I'm gonna bring down my four. Three goes into 14 four times. Four times three is 12. Subtract, get two. And two is smaller than three, so I'm going to bring down my last four. Three goes into 24 eight times. Eight times three is 24. Subtract, get zero. So $1.48. Okay? Pause it. Write down your work. Okay, guys? All right. Marcus, Nan, and Olive each have $1.65 in their pocket. They decide to combine their money. How much money do they have all together? So $1.65. And there's three of them. Okay. So now three times five is 15. Carry that one. Three times six is 18. Plus one is 19. Carry the one. Three times one is three plus one is four. And we're going to go in one, two times for our decimal. $4.95. Okay, all right. Okay, now. Joshi saves $6 each week. How many weeks will she have saved at least, sorry, in how many weeks will she have saved at least $50, okay? Well, six times eight is 48, okay? So that's eight weeks. So $50, we'd have to add another week on. So that's nine weeks. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Okay, Becca has 12 more than Cece. Dave has three less than Cece. Cece has $10. How much money do they have all together? So Cece has 10. Dave has three less than Cece. So that's seven. And Becca has $12 more. So she's going to have 22. Now, 22 plus 10 is 32. Plus seven is $39. Okay. We're going to go on to the back. You guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. And we're going to go down and do the spiral review. Okay. All right. Bethany has nine pennies. What fraction of a dollar is this? Okay, so if she has nine cents, then our decimal would be 0 0.09. Okay, she has nine cents. Okay, no tens in there, just nine. Okay, now that nine is in the hundredth place. You're done. Okay, all right. Michael made nine twelfths of his free throws at practice. What is nine twelfths in its simplest form? Well, nine over 12, three goes into both of those. So three goes into nine three times, and three goes into 12 four times. Done. Okay. A prime number between 30 and 40. What number could it be? Well, we have 31 as a prime number. Not 32, not 33, not 34, not 35, not 36. Uh, could be 37, not 38, and not 39. So you can either put 31 or 37, your, your choice, okay? All right, fill in the blank with a symbol that makes the statement true. So this is actually a fun way to do this. So I'm going to write those numbers right here. We are going to 
do our butterfly straight across. Five times one is five. And two times two is four, which means that this one is bigger. Boom, done. All right, y'all. Thanks for hanging out for 9.5. Come on back for 9.6. See you soon.